Valentine's Day. You know, it's, it's also known as the Day of Love. Valentine's Day, you know the, the holiday where most singles try to avoid, but at the same time, most couples look forward to? You know, the day where it gives people an excuse to be all lovey-dovey and to act all like they're in love. Maybe, maybe they are. You know, Valentine's Day is a day where you, know, you see people holding hands. You see people look into, into each other's eyes with no words needed. It makes me, it makes me think. It makes me think of the moments where people watch movies and really a multitude of movies like Valentine's Day, Dear John, The Notebook, all depicting this love story. This, this love story. But what is love? Is love about nice cards? Is love all about delicious candies? Is is love about teddy bears that you can cuddle with? That someone gives to you once a year? Maybe love is all about flowers and how great they smell. And that special someone that gives the, these flowers to you once a year, maybe twice on birthdays. Is there more to love than just that? I think so. It has to be. I mean, why else would we make a big deal of this thing called love? Why else would we celebrate two people in this amazing and unforgettable ceremony united by their love? You see, today love is what we are in search of. Love is under further investigation. We're doing an investigation on love. So we decided to take our investigation to GV Christian Center, where we're asking people one question. What is love? I mean, this is the place where Pastor Dylan and Shelby found love. So surely we'll find love here. So come, let's go find it. Let's take a walk with me. Come on, let's go. I'm here with Gregory Fields. So Gregory, what is love? Love is when that pizza comes right out the oven and you just you just see that glaze just right on top of that pizza and it's so cheesy it looks so amazing and and you you cut it and bite into it and oh it's perfect that's love you all right yes all right pizza that's love i'm here with michael camden all right michael what is love that's a good question. I think Camden should actually love this. Uh, yeah. Love is uh, when Michael answers. Okay, fine. Your mom, because you love your mom, don't you? So, what is love? Your mom. Okay, Camden, what is love? Your dad. Your dad. You want to expound on that? Oh, uh, yes. Your, your dad and your mom. I'm here with... Caesar. So, Caesar, what is love uh i have to say not wishing i never had kids wow i'm here with nolan Hare. so nolan what is love love is when you hug someone too much you make them uncomfortable but they'll never tell you because they love you hey Haley. i'm here with butthead butthead <laughs> and crazy person and crazy person <laughs> And I just want to know, what is love? It's somebody you poop on. Somebody you poop on. <laughs> somebody who throws you in the pool. Somebody who throws you in the pool. I'm here with... Chris. Chris, what is love? What is love? Yes. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I guess love is, baby, don't hurt me. Oh, no more. No more. Baby, don't hurt me no more. Uh-uh. Brennan Daiichi, what is love? It's like this. Oh, no, 
I'm kidding. It's uh, when you like like someone or something, I say. Okay, so when you like someone or yeah. something. Okay, Daichi, what is love? Like this block. Lovable. Lovable. Yeah, you just gotta love somebody. Uh, lovable. I'm here with... Gio. Gio, what is love? Tacos. Tacos. That's where real love's at. We have taken uh, this journey, this investigation uh, of love. We're trying to find what, what the true meaning of love really is. You know, we, we've heard what people have said on the street, what they thought love is. But to me, there has to be something more, like something is missing. There's, so, there's something deeper that has to take place when it, when it comes to, to love. Well, maybe we're trying to find this answer to this question of what love is. Maybe we're trying to find this answer in the, in the wrong place. Maybe it doesn't come from what people on the street say it is. Maybe, maybe the right way to go about it is looking at what God says love is, God's word. You know, in fact, in 1 Corinthians 13, uh, it really defines what, what love is. God's word defines love in this, that love is patient and love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and keeps no records of being wronged. Love does not rejoice about injustice. Rather, love always rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It always is hopeful and endures through every circumstance. In fact, in, in John 4, uh, love uh, is depicted through a great example. God, in fact, shows us what this love looks like as he uh, says these words in, in John 4, that God showed us how much he loved us by sending his one and only son that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but rather that God loved us and sent his son to take away our sins. Hmm, that's interesting. In one action, God demonstrated love through all the elements of love just by one action. He demonstrated patience and kindness. He demonstrated compassion and forgiveness. He never gave up. He endured through every circumstance to love us just by one action. It's really interesting to me. You see, maybe, maybe love isn't, you know, the material things. Maybe love isn't just the hugs and and the, and the emotional and things that we do for one another. Maybe, maybe love is what we do on an everyday basis. Maybe love is being patient with people. Maybe love is showing, is showing kindness to people even when they don't deserve it. Maybe love is showing compassion and forgiving someone that, that wronged you and I. Maybe, maybe love is, is like a, a smoothie. This delicious goodness that is from the Lord. You see, when I think of a smoothie, I think of all the different kinds of things you put in a smoothie, right? Uh, you could put milk, you put ice, you put different kinds of fruit, and depending on what kind of smoothie uh, you get, you, you could put in things like strawberries and bananas and maybe even some raspberries, maybe even a hint of coconut. Maybe if, if you're like me, you put in mangoes and you like mangoes in your smoothie. 
But but they put a smoothie puts all these different kinds of things in it. And what comes out is this. Is this great delicious goodness that comes just from the Lord. But here's the thing. A lot of times we put in different things. We put in anger. We put in hatred. We put in injustice. We put in unforgiveness and, and um, revenge. And what comes out of that is just this bitter taste of ugliness. See, what I've come to realize is that only you can allow yourself to receive love. And only you can determine what kind of love comes out. It can be this amazing, delicious goodness from the Lord, or it could, because of what you put in, it could be this bitter taste of ugliness. I don't know about you, but, but I want that, I want my love to be a delicious taste that, that comes from the Lord. I think the real question is, the real question is, what kind of love do you want to come out of your life? Do you want that delicious goodness from the Lord to come out? Or do you want that ugly taste of bitterness? Like I said, I don't know about you, but I want this delicious taste of the Lord to be a perfect example of, of my love to the people around me. But how do we become the very definition of love? We do it by allowing love to come in and exuding love out. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for reminding us of this love, this great love that, that we are to show to every person that we come in contact with. Lord, you know our hearts, you know our desires, you know what we want, and what we want is our love to be like this delicious goodness that only comes from you. And God, we realize that we need your help for that to happen. God, we ask for your guidance. We ask for your direction. We ask for your discernment. We, we ask for, for you to help us in this very thing. Help us become uh, the person of love that you have called us to be, to become the definition of love that you have detailed in 1 Corinthians 13. We need your help in that. So God, we ask for that help. We love you, Lord. Be with us in your precious name. Amen. Amen.